You are hated from the moment you exist. If a human finds you, they crush you between their fingernails. Your body pops like a blood blister, exploding in a spray of red. If you fall into water, soap collapses the surface tension and drowns you in seconds. Fire burns you to ash. Poisons choke your body, twisting your legs until you seize. Vacuum cleaners rip your world away, sucking you into oblivion. You are despised more than almost any creature alive. Dogs bite themselves bloody just to kill you. Cats chew you into paste between their teeth. Humans wage billion-dollar wars against you with sprays, powders, bombs, shampoos, collars, and fire. You are not tolerated. You are not respected. You are exterminated by the billions every single day. And in human history, you are remembered as death itself. Fleas carried the Black Death, the bubonic plague. Your bites spread Yersinia pestis, a bacterium that turned blood to poison and lymph nodes into black oozing lumps. The plague wiped out nearly half of Europe, up to 200 million people. Entire cities collapsed. Villages burned their dead in pits. Parents buried their children. Whole families vanished overnight. Humanity will never forget you. But while humans remember you as an unstoppable killer, your own life is the opposite. Your life is filth, hunger, fear, misery. Every moment of your existence is suffering, and it begins before you even hatch. Your mother abandons you the instant you exist. She does not protect you, clean you, or guard you. She simply scatters your eggs into filth, onto dirt, into carpets, into the cracks of floorboards, into the bedding of animals. Each egg is smaller than a grain of sand, translucent and helpless. You are dumped into the world like trash. The odds are already stacked against you. If sunlight touches you, you dry out in minutes. If the air is too dry, you shrivel into nothing. If bedding is washed, you are erased. If ants or mites discover you, they devour you alive before you can even hatch. You are not cherished. You are not nurtured. You are discarded into filth and left to survive by chance. And if you hatch, the nightmare begins. You do not emerge as a parasite armed with claws and fangs. You are born as a larva, blind, worm-like, helpless, a pale, wriggling body crawling through dust and dirt. You cannot jump. You cannot bite. You cannot even drink blood. Instead, you feed on filth. Your diet is the excrement of adult fleas, dry pellets of half-digested blood scattered in the dust. You eat feces. You eat what others spit out. You chew flakes of dead skin, fragments of hair, rotting organic debris. You survive by crawling through filth and swallowing waste. Every moment is a gamble with death. A single draft of hot air can dry you out. A ray of sunlight can bake you alive. One drop of water drowns you instantly. The vibration of footsteps overhead could bring a vacuum that rips you away. Your entire world is lethal. Many larvae never make it. They shrivel, they starve, they're eaten by ants, they are sucked into vacuums. They rot in bedding. Your childhood is not play. It is crawling through filth, choking down waste, surrounded by death. If you live long enough, you spin a cocoon. Inside, you transform. From blind worm to parasite. From larva to adult. But your cocoon is not safety. It is a coffin with conditions. You can wait for weeks, even months. You lie in silence sealed in silk, waiting for vibrations of a host to pass by. A dog, a cat, a rat, a human, something warm, something alive, something to bleed. But if no host comes, you die entombed. If the bedding is washed, you are thrown out with the trash. If the carpet is cleaned, you are vacuumed into nothingness. If the room is empty for too long, you simply starve in your shell. Entire generations of fleas die sealed in cocoons, suffocating without ever touching blood. Your pupa stage is not a cradle, it is a coffin. If you emerge, you emerge starving. Your body is flat and armored, built to slip through fur and skin. Your shell is hard enough to resist pinching fingers. 
Your legs are coiled like springs, powerful enough to launch you hundreds of times your body length. To a human, it would be the equivalent of leaping over a skyscraper. But you are not graceful. You are desperate. Every leap is blind. You fling yourself into the air like a bullet. If you miss, you smash into the ground again and again and again. If you land on the wrong host, you are clawed apart. A bird plucks you in its beak. A reptile swallows you. A human brushes you away and crushes you instantly. Only if you land on the right host do you have a chance to live. And even then, every second is a battle. You pierce skin with your needle mouth. You inject saliva laced with chemicals that stop blood from clotting. And then you drink. You drink until your body swells with stolen blood. But your host feels it. The wound itches. It burns. Dogs scratch until their skin bleeds. Cats gnaw themselves raw, trying to tear you out. Humans squeeze you between their fingernails until your body bursts in a spray of blood. Every sip could be your last. And even if you survive, you are hated. You are feared as a plague. The Black Death, typhus, tapeworms, parasites. You leap from host to host, spreading death invisibly. You are remembered not as a survivor, but as a monster. And the more you spread, the more brutally humans annihilate you. They bomb entire houses with insecticides. They cover animals with poison. They drown you in sinks, burn you with fire, and choke you with powders. They do not tolerate you. They wage war against you. Endlessly. If you somehow survive all this, you mate on your host. Clinging with claws, you feed while breeding. Dozens, even hundreds of eggs fall away into filth, abandoned just like you were abandoned. The cycle repeats, and almost all of your children will die. Even if you live long enough to feed and breed, your time is short. Most fleas survive only weeks, some last months, a rare few endure a year, but almost all die quickly, crushed, drowned, poisoned, or starved. You are born into filth, you live in hunger, and you die hated. So why does it suck to be born a flea? Because you are cursed from the start. Your egg is abandoned in filth. Your larval stage is spent crawling through dust, choking down feces. Your cocoon is a coffin. As an adult, you leap blindly into a world that wants you dead. You are crushed, drowned, burned, and poisoned by giants a thousand times your size. You are feared as a plague, but never respected as a creature. Your life is short, brutal, filthy, and hated. So the next time someone slaps a flea off their dog or pinches one between their nails, remember this. Behind that speck of blood is a creature whose entire life is nothing but filth, hunger, and constant war against giants who want it erased. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this shocking deep dive into why it sucks to be born a flea, smash the like button, hit subscribe, and stay tuned for more jaw-dropping animal truths.